Hey guys, so I made basic ball physics in Unity, but I keep scoring and go in top 11, sorry. <laughs> so I made basic ball physics in Unity. That's not offside! Okay, no, it's onside. Okay, good, good, good. I thought I was going to try to say that's offside. Okay, that's onside. Be good. Anyway, I... <laughs> <laughs> I made basic pool physics in Unity, but I ran out of space on my laptop, so I'm just going to split it up into three videos or something like that. I'm not sure if all of you guys will understand what I'm talking about. Okay, look, look, look at this. You see you see how there's these green lines, right? So let's say it was going along the blue line. If I did cross product, so it's, it's going up and it's going along the blue line. If I did cross product on both of those, it would go along, well, I'd get the direction of the red line. So then that's it. That, I just added spin. That's it. That, that's, that's spin sorted. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> she was done. There's no way it's that easy though. Yeah, that really was it guys. Look, look, boom, see? It, it curves now, that's it, that was it. I have some parameters set up. I just looked at the Wikipedia page, right? The Wikipedia page says fluid density, but just switched out for air density. It's full radius. If you set that too high, yeah, if you set that too high, I'll go crazy, watch. If you set it too high, I'll go crazy. Since the balls probably won't have different radiuses, I could just, because you know how different footballs have different curvature. Like, some footballs curve more than others. So I guess I can just use that as a stat for that, innit? But yeah, no, to actually make a football game, I need to learn Blender. So yeah, well, now I just need to add bounce physics and then we're done. Yeah, I made quite a bit of progress, so I'm just gonna show you. Look, um, I think. Yeah, look, 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 boom, see, bounces. I had to kind of override Unity's, well, it, I didn't really override it. I don't know how you're actually supposed to override it. I just stored the last magnitude, I mean, not last magnitude, the last velocity and last angular velocity, and I just calculated it myself. And I need to adjust the bounce, because I know that different balls bounce differently, right? Or, or diff on different pitches as well. Like, when when, when, I, when we get to it, we'll get, I'll make it. Not right now, not right now. Right now, I just need to calculate, because you know how if a ball's spinning, it bounces differently, right? I'm not calculating that right now. We'll have to just calculate that, then we're done. 15 minutes later. Okay, so imagine all this time for like 20 minutes, I've been trying to figure out why is the spin so low. And as it turns out, there's a very look, 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 look right here, look right there, look right there. Let me switch the full screen so you can see this. I didn't know this existed. Its default is seven. The spin was seven. I was wondering why was it not spinning that much. That's why the spin, then it bounces a bit, so it goes in a direction, then it just rolls and stops. Is that basically it? Is, like, is that how it works? I'm not a physics expert. I'm not. It, it looks right, but I'm not a physics expert, right? So I don't know if this is correct. What happens if I put backspin? It actually floats. Wait, I actually they just did it. I proper added to spin and backspin. Okay, no, that's sick. That's sick. But I need to learn Blender, right? And the only way I can make a football game out of this is if I learn Blender. That's the only way. I need to know how to fully animate and everything as well. I don't think I want to make a full-on crazy game. I just want to pass the ball around and crap and shoot. But it's just not that mad. It's not that crazy. <laughs> I'm not trying to make ISS yet. Yet, by the way, yet. But there were no models I could just get for free and no animations I could just get for free. I don't actually know how the ball's supposed to bounce. That's the problem here. I, like, I don't know if what, how I did it before was correct. Like, see, that looks, that looks fake to me. That looks fake. See, the thing is, I don't think I can improve this now because I don't know if this is correct. Look, look at this. Is that correct? I genuinely don't know. I mean, it looks good. To me, it looks good. But I don't know the math behind this and everything. Like, I don't fully know the math. I've just been Googling around and learning stuff. But it looks perfectly fine. Like, I know it's just going to be an arcade football game when I learn Blender and everything, but... Still, I don't want it to be extremely unrealistic. Like, it's gonna suck if the spin is incorrect. Uh, and actually, let me just watch football right now. Let's watch football. Alright, we're watching Barcelona highlights. They are ballers. He needs some milk! Yeah, that seems about right. Remember the Barcelona video? No. That seems about right. Maybe I should add more. Might add more friction. The ball things, they're all there, I think. I know it's just basic, there's more I can add and stuff, but this this would work. This legit would work, in my opinion. This would work really well if I made an actual game out of it. I need to actually learn how to use Blender to actually make a game out of it. But this, this looks so good, looks so good. But maybe there's just stuff I'm not seeing. Maybe there's stuff I need to implement. So just tell me in the comments, isn't it? Like if there's stuff I just didn't add, tell me in the comments. Like there's friction, there's the air density that I've I haven't, I haven't really messed around with that. Well, what would happen if I set it really hard? Yeah, let's see what would happen if I set it really hard. What's gonna happen to the ball? The oh gosh. <laughs> oh my God. Somehow that ball landed. Yeah. And now it's bouncing like mad. Obviously that's not what I'm gonna do. Boom. New shot. I don't want it to go too far. So that's why I'm, I'm moving it down a bit. See that now I can have different balls. As in, they actually respond differently. 
the balls don't all curve the same and this has to be mass to it as well. I need to add mass as well. When I when I actually edit the stop when I actually make the players in Unity, I need to add mass to the balls. I found this football model. Not sure who this guy is, but thank you dude. You can play around with this. Yeah, I changed some things, right? I added air pressure. Yeah, ball pressure, there, right there. So that ball has less ball pressure, so it bounces less. This one has absurdly high ball pressure. So, like, this works well, I think. It just works, right? Look, I'll just show you right now. Boom, and he has the bouncing thing. The Because you know, remember the last one in the videos, right? No. It has the bouncing. Like, it just, it works well, I think. And I had an invisible wall, so the balls don't fall off. Okay, I have game purpose. I'm going to try explain what I'm trying to do next. So let's say I kick the ball here. And I kick it that way because this, this, this is in 3D, right? So pretend I just pretend I went through the ball and I went a little bit up. So I kicked the ball here, went through the ball a little bit up. I'm not sure how I'm gonna show that properly. Then I need to get I get this. With the, let's say that's the center. Let's say it's the center. Then a line there. So but I'm not gonna explain this properly. If 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 you understand, if you don't understand, it's gonna be this is gonna be confusing. I swear. <laughs> so I kick the ball there. The ball's moved, the vector's going through, so it's going forward and a little bit up. Okay, so then, I need a normal, I need another line, right? So, this point is just the position I touched the ball, right? To the center. So that, that's a that's a line there, that's a vector for me there. Then, don't get me something that's perpendicular. So that perpendicular thing, well, I would cross these two, I'd cross that vector, that vector, cross product, I'd get this, because it's perpendicular to both of them. Then, this cross product thing, that's gonna be what I use to calculate how the ball spins. But then I need to get the angles as well, right? So I think for the kick it would be cos. If I were to kick it straight ahead, so it would be 0, right? The angle would be 0 or 180, but it doesn't really matter. I could just do the absolute value, right? So it'd be 1. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the vector for... Yeah, okay. Yeah, it should be cos. Cos for the force, the direction, the velocity, the directional velocity. Then angular velocity sine. So let's say I was kicking... Because you, well, it'll be the angle of these two, right? So, crap. I'm gonna say this because this is just confusing. I should probably just not include this in the video. The angle of these two, right? Let's say it was 30. So, cos 30. Okay. Oh, for goodness sake. No, not radians, degrees. <laughs> okay. So, that means if I was to kick it at a force of 10, it would only apply that much of it. But, okay, wait, wait, wait. 90. Because 0. Okay. So, it, that means you just completely missed the ball. Like, you're. you're perpendicular you missed the ball straight up but that, that's not really possible is it that's not really possible but something like 80 that's possible right so you just did a terrible kick the ball barely moves probably even moves in the wrong direction but the rotation would be insane the, yeah, the, why did i put sing the rotation would be really high boom that's how it needs to be but the movement that's the way i'm thinking about it. it's not entirely how it should be is it shouldn't it move away from the point <sighs> no this is actually tough I, I, I can understand in my head how I would do the rotation it's the movement the vector moving that's the hard part because it needs to move away from the point right because if I look if I I don't know this thing on this thing on the thingy if I hit it yeah it moves like that but then if I hit it from the side like that it moves to the side oh my gosh that's the hard part. That's the part I need to figure out. I don't want to use add force that position because I don't want to implement something I just don't know. And I just don't know how it works. I don't want to do that. It's cheating. Plus, it's way better if I can actually implement it because then I can add in curves and stuff. I can actually add in stats that make sense. I can actually make the stats make sense. Ooh, this is actually tough. It's hard. This is not easy. This is not easy. Oh, right, I implemented it. This is actually way easier than I thought it was going to be. Okay, look, this is my implementation. Boom. Works. It curls. Then this is Unity's. So this is proof that mine works well. Watch. I'll switch to Unity's rigid body at force at position. Boom. Watch how Unity's one does it. Boom. See? I basically implemented it. It works fully. Legit. Let me just show one thing. It wasn't working for me originally because watch. Unity does square magnitude, right? I wasn't doing square magnitude. This is what happens if you don't do square magnitude. Boom, see there's barely any spin. But if you do square magnitude, then there's a lot of spin. Boom, see it spins a lot. So this basically works. But yeah, I made a kick test thing so you can see what, where I'm trying to kick it. Boom, I just able to mesh friend a bit just so you can see as well. Look. So that's what I was talking about, the lines. That's what I was talking about when I was talking about the lines. See, there's a it goes towards the center. So then that's the direction I want to kick it. 
like that but then it's gonna apply the force like that right yeah i made some basic ai to test this around and this is cursed this is cursed I'll show you like it works the ball sticks work oh no i was supposed to do first i was supposed to do maximize not focus supposed to do that like they work right but this is just not the right way and he's gonna score an own goal well done well done <laughs> And this is just not the right way to test it. This is not the right way to test the physics. Yeah, at this point when I made the basic AI, I just mostly worked on the basic AI to be honest. Like I think the next thing I do is I improve the bounce physics. But most of it's on the AI to be honest. I, I don't really knuckleballs the next part. Like at the end I make knuckleballs. I just realized at the end that I haven't made knuckleballs yet. I just implemented very quickly. Anyway, I'm not sure when episode 2 will be. So thank you for watching. Bye.